Hello everyone, I am Vaskar, Assistant Professor of Department of ECE, HiSET. In this video, we are going to discuss the elements of visual perception in the subject Digital Image Processing. The contents are the structure of human eye and image formation in the human eye. These are the two topics we are going to discuss in this video. Basic objective of image processing application is to help human observer to perceive the information from the visual information or an image. So it is important to understand the basic functionality and structure of our human eye. In our visual system we have three parts. The first actually starts from the eye which is acting as a sensor or camera, optic nerves which transmit the information to brain, then the third part is brain which is actually acting as a CPU central processing unit where the actual information is interpreted. There are three different membranes in the human eye. Those membranes are uh, outer membrane, uh, which consists of cornea and sclera, then middle layer, choroid, then inner layer is retina. Eye is almost a spherical, uh, almost a spherical structure with diameter of 20 mm. The outer layer, the outer transparent layer, uh, transparent segment of the front portion, anterior portion is called as uh, cornea this portion this is transparent in nature so the same cornea is extended in the rear as sclera so in the rear it, it, uh, it is opaque in nature it won't allow any light to get past the middle layer is choroid where iris uh, then uh, ciliary bodies and iris diaphragm lens all those things are present in the inner layer, uh, we have photoreceptors like cones, rods and blind spots. Okay. So these are the three uh, basic membranes. In choroid, we have blood vessels. So these blood vessels, in the middle layer, we have blood vessels which provides nutrition to the muscles of this eye. So if we get injured, the eye becomes red. That reddishness is because of the damaged blood vessels in the choroid. Next is iris. Iris is a part of this uh, choroid. Actually, this iris will give us the uh, color, color pigments. We have different colors uh, uh, in the eye: brown, brown, black, green, blue. All these color pigments are because of this uh, iris. Then we have. Pupil. The center opening of this iris is called pupil. This pupil controls the amount of light entering to the eye. Pupil size is around 2 to 8 mm. Then we have lens. Then we have lens of this eye which is made up of fibrous cells containing uh, water, 60 to 70 percentage of water. Then the innermost layer is retina where the different photoreceptors are present. The photoreceptors are cones and rods. These two Photoreceptors have different characteristics as well as different functionalities. First, cones. There are around 6 to 7 million cones are present in the uh, retina. Then all these cones are accumulated in one place which is called as fovea. So these cones are responsible for bright light vision. Bright light vision is otherwise called as photopic vision where all the color information can be perceived. Similarly, these cones are responsible for fine details. The high frequency information can be perceived by these cones. Then rods, there are around 75 to 150 million uh, rods are present in the retina. They are, are distributed all through this uh, retina. And these rods are responsible for dim light vision otherwise called as scotopic vision this dim light vision it will not give any details as well as color information fovea is the center part of the retina it is about 1.5 mm diameter highly dense with cones now below this fovea we have a blind spot where there is no receptor present now it is important to understand uh, the difference between photopic vision and scotopic vision Photopic vision is otherwise called as bright light vision. Photopic vision is dim light vision. Now, the characteristics of photopic vision are, these, uh, the cones are responsible for this 
photopic vision then color receptors the color discrimination is high the resolution is high in the fovea that is in bright light vision and this is uh, less sensitive to light when we look into the characteristics of scotopic vision rods are responsible for this scotopic vision there will not be any color discrimination and the, it is much more sensitive to light that is night vision and it will not it will not give any details that is uh, the resolution is low in this scotopic vision so this is how actually the receptor receptors are distributed uh, along the retina so if we look at this zero degree represents exactly the visual axis visual axis if you look at the structure we have a dotted line this is called visual axis so the fovea is exactly at the zero degree location in the fovea we can see that the number of cones are high very high that is cones are densely populated in fovea and in all the other places the number of cones are very less but whereas the rods the dotted line represent the number of dots the continuous line represents cones number of cones okay so if we see in the fovea the the the, the number of cones are highly dense rods are distributed throughout the retina but in one place we don't have both rods and cones which is called as blind spot which is somewhat below the fovea so the dimension of fovea is 1.5 mm and fovea is rod free there will not be any rods only cones are accumulated there so these are the photoreceptors of the eye so this is the basic structure of human eye next is image formation in human eye actually to perceive any object we need a light source naturally the light source in the daytime is sunlight so if the sunlight falls on any object those uh, light reflected from that object and it reaches our eye then our eye captures those, those light waves then it, it transmitted uh, to the brain through this optic nerves then in the brain every all these interpretations are happening to focus a distant object the lens must be flattened the focal length must be higher to focus a, a nearer object the focal length will be less so the size or the shape of the lens must be changed so for that ciliary bodies are changing the focal length of the lens by controlling uh, uh, the thickness and the shape of our human lens so this is where the near sighted and far sighted uh, perceptions are coming so this is how image is formed inside our eye actually if we have uh, the length uh, the distance between the center of lens and fovea is around 1.7 centimeters or 1.7 or 17 mm uh, if we look at a tree with a height of 15 meters at a distance of 100 meter then the an image is formed in the fovea and the size of that image can be measured by this formula that is the height divided by distance 15 by 100 equals to height in fovea height in fovea divided by this distance 17 mm which is approximately 2.5 mm so this is how the image is formed inside the eye in this short video we have discussed the basic information about the uh, structure of human eye and how the image is formed inside human eye thank you